Hi everyone, thanks so much for stopping by my channel. I'm Bruce Schwartz. I've recently bought a 14 inch telescope that, thanks to the community on this channel, raised a big amount of money, many funds to be able to get this telescope. We raised it in 179 days. What are we looking at? We're looking at color on the surface of the moon. An HD telescope, my telescope has the HD feature. Look at the top, Copernicus. We've seen it through this week. It's, it's mesmerizing to be able to see the surface for real, isn't it? Without even uh, editing it or doing anything, we can clearly see that there are geometrical shapes and symmetrical lines. This is Plato Crater, the transient lunar phenomenon. Behind it is that bright blue, white blue spot at the back. There's more than one. And there are actually spots like this all over the moon. Why doesn't anyone talk about them? Well, not NASA anyways, because they talk about certain areas like this behind Plato Crater that, that apparently they are very interested in that light that's back there. No, they're not interested for the light. They're just interested for something else. I mean, there are lights all over the bloody moon. We can see them. And why are some of these lights oscillating? The color, to me, has always stunned me. When I started this, no one was doing any color footage. Really serious. I started a year and a half ago, and I didn't see any color footage. Maybe there is some out there, but... I didn't see a lot and mind you it's original color why would we look at it gray why would we eliminate the color in footage look at this Plato crater zooming in here just absolutely mesmerizing there's so much detail there's so much to look at and when we zoom in it does not look like it does when you're for, for, uh, further out it really is different and the way this telescope uh, works uh, with the HD we're gonna get some great 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 detail I can tell because in the four uh, inch telescope was a great scope but you of course it did not have this definition and there's Archimedes over top of the mountain here the mountain goes down to Eratosthenes crater Mare Serenitatis to the right with a white line going through it is the dark patch on the right Bessel crater in the center. You will learn every single crater with me, and it's going to be so simple because see Monte's Apenninus on the bottom there. It's not a mountain. Where do you see a mountain? It's a bunch of block like structures all over the surface. I zoom up on Archimedes crater, the one with the two squiggly lines to the left of it there, and that little white dot beside it looks a lot like uh, uh, the post office sign. There's so much color on the surface. And you know what? With the Celestron 1400 HD, I'm seeing reds all over the surface of the moon. Aside from blues and greens, we can clearly see that it's there. Now, guys, there's no atmospheric disturbance. Take a good look at this footage. It's the surface that is green. Yes, I was outside this evening and I still am lurking in the windows to wait for the moon. The moon is not there. Rain is on its way. It's very windy and possibly the evening uh, getting the moon is scrapped. Doesn't matter. More days are coming. As disappointed as I am, there's a lot to see in the footage that I've gotten on the 24th. And please, um, you know, take a look at the videos that I'll be doing and showing. And this is, wow, this is natural straight up footage and we're seeing the color it's inside of the moon it's it's in the earth of the moon in the dirt you can see it it's infiltrated inside of the moon it's not an atmospheric disturbance this is clear footage and we can clearly see that the hardest part for everyone to accept is that there are structures up there and why i don't understand I guess because people are just real people. They believe in what they have always believed in. We have to believe in something, right? To be able to go on, to get to that retirement day, 
we have to thrive on the thought that there's something at the end of our life, right? If not, would it be worth working that long? Aha! That's something people don't think about, right? If everyone in the world, for example, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, theoretically, if there was no God, which I know there is, if there wasn't, theoretically, would everyone in the world want to get along that much? Would everyone in the world want to get ahead in their own lives and have children to do the same? Loved ones that pass on, will we see them again or not? Probably will. Hey, I've seen some before the time. I've, I've, I've had family members, deceased family members, you know, get in touch with me. Not through social media, not through a phone or in person. There are different ways, you know. Energy is an exceptional thing, guys. Energy travels throughout the entire universe. Some people can read energy differently and feel it differently. I thank you all so much for connecting with me. There's so much coming, guys. There's so much that we can do together and there's so much we're going to be able to see. And I thank you very much for connecting with me and for believing in me, you know. And for some of you who are not here because you believe in me and you just want to see what's out there on the moon, well, there's a beauty part to it. There's a research part and this is the beauty part. Within 150 miles north of Tycho Crater, there are in unison geometrical shapes, some look symmetrical. The way these supposed craters are placed, guys, leads me to believe that they just are not craters. There's the wall on top there. That's not a pixel. You see how there's a line on top? The people say, oh, there's something wrong with the photo. No, that's the 1,000 foot high wall. And if that's 1,000 feet, and only imagine how the ridges here that we're seeing in the southern highlands, bottom left is where approaching here, Clavius Crater. You can't miss Clavius Crater, and if you're new to the moon, Clavius Crater is definitely the one you want to start with. The bottom left, you will see a very large crater. I'll get a star up on it. And on top of that crater, there are one, two, three, four, five, and six craters inside the crater. The big crater on the bottom, we'll zoom in later, there's oscillating lights. There's someone down there. On top, the whiter, if you want, crater, over top of Clavius Crater, is Tycho Crater. They say it's a younger crater, right? Uh, or no, I think Copernicus is the younger crater, yeah. But look at Tycho Crater, and then look at Clavius Crater. On the bottom, Clavius Crater will get way in closer than that. The big crater that's on top, I think it's Porter, on Clavius Crater, there's oscillating lights at the bottom. So basically, right now, south, at the bottom of Clavius Crater, just take a look as we'll zoom in, and we'll zoom in way closer later, you'll see oscillating lights. This is live footage, and without manipulating any footage, you can clearly see that there's something or someone up there. Why would lights be oscillating? You can clearly see so long me that it's not the sun that's reflecting off the surface right now. It, okay, it could be reflecting, of course, because it does off all the planets, right? But it doesn't mean that it's making it brilliant because you can literally see that the shine or the oscillation is independent to the sunshine's rays. You all know, especially those who have been here since the beginning, that I want to get in. I will get close. Copernicus, Tycho, all the craters will be the size of the entire screen, your 60-inch television, imagine. We're going to do it. But like I said, the prime focus, what we're doing, since the telescope does not have an actual zoom button, we need programs. But with programs, there are devices like solar imagers, etc. I have a solar imager. I have a zooming program. We will be doing all these tests. But 
what we're seeing in the videos here, it's prime focus. And this is something beautiful that I want to profit from. I want to see the entire moon this way a couple times. And the zooming that you're seeing now is only a beginning of getting in close. And don't forget, I want everyone to see what's down there before I get in close because again, everyone's going to start again telling me to zoom back out. Longo Montanus, beside Clavius Creator, beginning of the zooms. So I follow science. Uh, things that people do not uh, have access to, I'm trying to give to you, trying to get the photos of the moon of areas that we're not seeing. Um, John Lear is also, and has also been doing the same uh, for a heck of a long time. Check out WSO YouTube channel when you get a chance. I'm going to take a chance. Jafti Mawat. Please tell me if I pronounced that right, my friend. Thank you very much for the generous donation. Welcome to the community. And it's a pleasure for me to interact with you and to connect with you. Thank you very much.